Okay, this is a story that I wanted to tell uh, in hopes that you guys will be motivated to to come back to Christ, even if you're in a pit, even if you're struggling right now, even if you feel like God isn't there. Uh, even if you, if you, even like, if you, if you even feel like you're not even worthy of of God's presence anymore, even if you if you if you feel like you're not even worthy of His love, this this is for you. This message is for you. And I received a revelation today that I want to share with you guys. So the the story begins with uh, my friend's dad's daughter had. I like big stones in her yard and there's like like just stones like to to decorate with like to to decorate the landscape of the of the backyard and in which there these uh like big heavy stones placed in like a puddle and she needed help getting those uh onto the vehicle so they can be moved somewhere else because she I guess didn't want them anymore so I I volunteered and I I I decided to 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 help her alongside with my dad and I uh, this isn't to boast and this isn't about me or maybe it is kind of but um this isn't to boast or anything this isn't to to show oh how how, how much I'm a good person cuz I help no that's not it in reality that this isn't about me. What I did doesn't matter. What what I received out of that mattered. Not being money, of course. No, I I vol I I volunteered for a reason. So after I was uh, I was very tired. Well, I wasn't that tired, but but I was tired and I was I was sweating profusely. And I I don't know if you can tell from the video, I got dirty, and my pants are a little bit muddy right now. I don't I don't know if you can tell, but. Uh, she asked me if I wanted to, to wash my hands. I said, yeah. So she invited me into her, her home to wash my hands. But I didn't really want to. I was a little hesitant to because of the fact that my shoes and I was just dirty in general. And I just, I didn't, I didn't want to make her house dirty. Right. But, but she, she said, no, it's fine. You You, you can come in. And. I feel like that's how a lot of us feel when it comes to coming to Christ or, or when it comes to coming back to Christ after we've, you know, rejected him, after we've just been in this pit, in this never-ending pit that it just, it just, or if we just feel like we don't even, we, we don't even feel worthy of, of God anymore, right? Anyway, uh, I just want to let you guys know that that just like the the woman was was being kind to me and saying you can come inside it's it's fine right the same way it is when it comes to to going into into God's kingdom like like God isn't going to reject you because because you're dirty like in fact he wants to he wants to invite you in he wants you to come in and just let him clean you of all your filth because we're all filthy. We're all we're all dirty in our hearts. Well, we've all been born into sin. But but that overwhelming love, that overwhelming kindness that I saw. Well, it wasn't that overwhelming, but I just I just felt that like kind of Christ-like love from that woman. And I and I I received that revelation. I connected it to Jesus somehow. I don't I don't know how. And I know it wasn't random. It was definitely a revelation from God. Like the same way th that woman was was saying, you can come inside. I, it doesn't matter if you're dirty. Like like she was offering she was offering help after after what I did for her. Not that that what I did didn't matter. What what she did mattered is what I'm saying. The same way it is with with God because you may be like living in sin, whether that's drinking, fornication, masturbation. Like other drugs, like it doesn't it doesn't matter whatever sin you're living in, like if you just like come forward to God, you have to take that next step. You have to take that action to come forward to God and let Him clean clean you, because He will. 
He will, he will do that for you out of his love and compassion. Just like, like the prodigal son in the Bible, he ran away from, from his dad because, because he just wanted to live for himself and he, and he wanted to, um, and he, he ran away for, for selfish reasons. He didn't, he didn't care about his dad, whether he, whether his dad could have been dying or not. He didn't care in that moment when he ran away. But after he was, after he began like eating in a, in a pig house or, or in a pig pen, he ended up eating mud because he, he eventually got poor. The same way it is, he came back out of desperation because he wanted to be accepted by his father again. And instead of his father rejecting him, he, he welcomed him back with open arms. That's the same way with Jesus. The same way with Jesus. We've done, we've done terrible things against his name. Terrible things even in his name. But if we just take that step and we just come to him, no matter how we feel about it in the moment, he will cleanse us from that. It's like, it's like saying you can come inside and you, you can come inside. It's fine. Just wash your hands and I'll do the rest. That's basically what I see Jesus saying. Like, obviously you're doing something. You're, you're obviously taking that step. You're obviously trying to do that. You're obviously trying to, uh, to clean yourself up, but you can't do it alone. That's why Jesus is saying, let me do the rest because you're not strong enough to do it on your own. That's, that's, that's why I'm. I'm making this video just so you guys can be encouraged by this, uh, by this story, by this revelation that I've received from, from God Himself, that you guys will just come to, come, come back to Him, or even, even come to Him for the first time, so that you can experience His forgiveness and His overwhelming and reckless love, so that you don't have to bear the pain alone by yourself. That's it.